If you are a fan of Formula One, you probably heard that Red Bull's wind tunnel testing time for 2023 was cut by 10% for breaching the 2021 cost cap. In this video, we will look at what is a Formula One wind tunnel, how it is used, and how this penalty could impact Red Bull in 2023. Let's get started. Formula One teams invest between 60 to 100 million dollars to build their own wind tunnels at their factory. The wind tunnels are used to develop the aerodynamics of their cars. The tunnels are rectangular in shape and are powered by a giant fan which can be up to 4 meters in diameter. The single fan rotates at around 600 rpm and produces air which is flown throughout the rectangle. The length of a wind tunnel can vary. Just to take an example, McLaren has a wind tunnel that is 145 meters long. Air flows at different speeds throughout the tunnel. The diffuser, a section of the tunnel that gradually widens, helps slow the air so that it can be directed more easily. The settling area, located prior to the testing area, consists of a honeycombed mesh that directs flow in a straight, predictable path. And the testing area, consisting of a stand on which the car is positioned, is the narrowest point in the tunnel. This forces the air to gather momentum and power just before washing over the car. The car in the wind tunnel can only be 60% as big as a regular F1 car. Two long arms hold the car in place and there's a rolling road under the car used to match the wind speed and prevent the air from sticking to the road. Teams are only allowed to use one wind tunnel and cannot run the tunnel faster than 180 km per hour. Wind tunnels have been used in Formula 1 for the last 50 years. Restrictions were first introduced for wind tunnel time in 2009. So before 2009, a team could run their wind tunnel all day, every day. With the introduction of the cost cap in 2021, the default allowance for wind tunnel time was reduced more than 30% to only 40 runs a week. Every time the wind tunnel reaches a speed of more than 5 meters per second, a run has commenced. When the speed falls below 5 meters per second, the run is completed. Changes cannot be made to the car during the run. Starting in 2021, to bring the cars closer together, the FIA introduced wind tunnel time adjustments based on performance. Currently, teams which finish higher in the standings receive less wind tunnel testing time. Teams that finish lower in the standings receive more wind tunnel testing time. As an example, Mercedes received 90% of their testing allocation for 2021. So simple math, 40 into 0.9 equals 36 runs per week. Williams, who finished last in the constructor's standings, received a significantly higher allowance of 112.5%. Doing the math, 40 into 1.125 is 45 runs per week. Bringing it back to this year, Red Bull won the constructor's championship. This means that their wind tunnel testing time will be reduced, likely to 36 runs per week as we saw in the last example. In addition to this reduction, another 10% reduction will be added for breaching the cost cap. As you can see, Red Bull will be severely limited in wind tunnel testing time for 2023. The wind tunnel time lost due to the penalty could help Mercedes and Ferrari catch Red Bull next year. Hope this video helped you learn about Formula 1 wind tunnels and how Red Bull could be impacted by their penalty. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.